Hey Mike, so what's the next project, dude? Oh, yeah. We're gonna start working on this 1936 Ford for Leo. Uh, the homie Leo's been waiting for a while and then, you know, we've been kind of like setting them aside a little bit, but now it's time to give them some love. We have this uh, 1936 Ford we started working on and uh, we did the cross member and then we ran into a little issue where the frame had like too many pits on the frame. We're gonna do all this and repair this. I guess it'll be too easy if we just go buy uh, another frame. We're putting an LS3 in it and a uh, bunch of other stuff, four linking in. We're gonna tough the rear end but still keep the original look on it, tail dragger style. It all makes sense once we start working on it and putting it together. Uh, but that's what we're doing. Big Steve! Okay, let's cut off some pieces. the air hammer. A little grinder so I can grind these down. You want that little grinder or this little? Oh, look at that, so perfect.
Don't throw those away yet. You need to get the holes off of them.
Here, look. Look where the hose is at. This is the best part. What's the best part? When we first get started on a project and we're like trying to make it fit. <laughs> we try to make this big old engine fit in like a 1936 Ford, which is nothing that hasn't been done, but we haven't done it, so it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Yep. We got all these things we have to, you know, this is just the beginning. This is like a bare bone. You know what I mean? So for like somebody that likes to build stuff, it's like, it's exciting, dude. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The fan has to fit here. We gotta make sure it's centered. You know what I mean? This is already messed up because we got this on the wrong side. But this isn't the radiator we're gonna use. We're gonna use the stock radiator, but we're gonna get this one canceled and that one going. That's gonna be pretty easy. So right now what we need to do is lift the motor back up and move it back maybe a couple inches. It's gonna be all up in the firewall, you know what I mean? We gotta make sure that the hood closes, you know, it fits. We gotta have the right height so when the car goes all the way down, because you know it's gotta be pancake. All right, Carapilla? Where do you want that lock on? Oh, no, that's not gonna work, Lujita. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 Go ahead. No study. Hey. Just so we get an idea. That's pretty pretty good right there. Oh shit, son of a bitch. Ooh, this fucking motor's huge, dude. Twenty-one and three quarters. 21 and we need to go, go a little more. Just one in. Oh, the one second, go back. Mas? Right there. Ain't gonna get any better than that. Hey, so what's happening today, Mike? <laughs> we're gonna put the rear end together so we can get the width of it and then we can start uh, building the links and all that stuff. Woo! Let me get a hammer. Hammer time. Ready? The sound was successful there, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's set up the table, homes. See what it says right here? Axle cut. Oh, we didn't shorten it. We ordered this one. I think we shortened it pretty. It's gonna be pretty narrow because we're gonna put those meaty tires. So we want something on the ground instead of putting the regular cookie cutters. And I think with the cookie cutters, it's just gonna peel out all over the place. So we gotta put something that's gonna be compatible with that. The backing plate from the brakes go right here. Yeah. Let me let me mark it. All right, take it back off, and then we'll do the other one. I'll cut this one down.
Why didn't you put the axle in? Oh, you did too. Come on, over here fucking around with the baby shit. Why don't you get to each other's number and shit? We can fucking put each other at home and shit. Fucking jaw jacket, motherfucker. Hold on, man. Don't put it so tight, then you bend the bracket, homie. Where's the nuts? You don't want it tight, huh? huh? You don't want it tight. Don't put it tight. What happened to the nuts that you, uh... I took them in there. We gotta pinch it. We gotta give it at least two and a half inches of clearance on the inside. So we're gonna bring them in. 44. Five inches, so we'll split it between two and a half. Okay, take some measurements here. Let's do this. We haven't got the tires that we're gonna run on here, but that's an idea. So, let's see, got a pila. 44 inches, got a pila. What did I say, 44 and a half? So, if we move it two and a half inches, that'll give us good clearance, right? Oh, shit. Let's see, two and a half inches, yep. That's plenty right there. So, two and a half. 44, let's see, this is 44 right here, so it's a half an inch wider right there, so, two inches, so we'll do, seven inches, so we're gonna print it, seven inches. We're gonna do a kind of like a pinch the rails in and then bring them back out. We can do two things. We can do a cross member at a tubular, right? Bring it in at a tubing, and then we continue everything at a tubing. But I don't really dig that, because it's going to be too easy. <laughs> so, we're going to make it out of one eighth. We're going to make the rails like it would be factory or something, right? It's just to make it that much harder. So if we make a cross member all the way across, right? We could do that, but this is going to be a problem because then we need to put the drive shaft to there, <laughs> right? So, if we cut out... Vas a cortar esto todavía más? Take it easy, man. Hold on. I think it's fine. Here, get the cutter so we can cut these off. We're going to have to get these out of the way. We will have to set the, the rear end on top of the literally on top of the frame because that's how low it's gonna go, right? And then we make a loop. So I'll cut out a uh, one eighth and we'll loop it, right? And then we can tie our uh, four link onto the cross member, right? And the new rails onto the cross member. That's how I do it. That's how I would do it. I think anybody <laughs> in their right mind would do it that way. <laughs> okay, let's do it like that. And then we can go ahead and box it in and we'll put the X member through here. Oh, another thing, we have to keep make clearance for the exhaust to go through. Ooh, now it's making me think. 
is if we just run a cross member all the way across and then we got a loop for the cross member for the dry shaft to get through but then we don't have an area for the exhaust to get through oh no i think we can do it <laughs> Make it with tubing, it's just like ugh. Kind of makes me want to throw up. Oh, I see that. Like if we you know, the oh, I put a plate on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover it up. I just think if we do, I don't know, I don't want to be bored with that shit. Look, it's in there bending pie. Give me a hammer, dude. I think it'd be more entertaining for us and uh, everybody else to make it out of one eighth plate. Dry shaft's gonna be once it's laid out, you know what I mean? Right there. You know what, dude? Let's take the wheels off. We're gonna put the third member in. That way I know exactly. Well, I'm gonna run the cross member and then we're gonna put the loop around it. We can put a string. I'm gonna cut a cross member and I'm gonna put a loop on it. And then we're gonna break it. We're gonna put the holes where the exhaust is gonna go through. And then uh, through the loop where the dry shaft's gonna go through, break it, and then we'll cap it. Yeah, I see it in my head. So it's gonna be 40, the cross number is gonna be 42 inches long, about 42 and a quarter. We can cut that. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Ooh, it's gonna be a lot of metal, dude. We do a lot of cutting. It's better work, peachy cut up, like as if not. Take these off again. We gotta take them out so we can put the third member in. Ah, damn it. Heavy, dude. I'm not gonna do Let me get some nuts. These nuts. You got it? Yeah. Let's go now and 
luôn Xì. how much clearance all the way around so that be topped off to the top that we don't need that all the way up there so we'll do inter we'll do right now it's pretty bottomed out right now so let's give it about an inch on the top of clearance just do won't touch the, the top of the loop, you know what I mean?
Isn't that right, Big Cheese? Big Cheese. You up there? Let me see if we'll find out right now. Don't find out right now. Don't panic, homie. Don't panic. Ready? According to my calculations, this might work, dude. It might work, Big G. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, okay. According. Oh, God damn it. All right. There we go. According to my calculations, Cut out the other piece, cut out the cap, and we'll cap it, weld it, and then we'll slide it in. Yeah? It's gonna be the cap for the other side. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do when you grow up and have to face responsibilities? Huh? What the loco? Hold on, hold on, don't get all loco chum. Check this motherfucker right here, dog.
That tells you it's the middle, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Superman? <laughs> Pichi carapila. Hold it. Ah, oh, there it is. Whew, you're fucking strong, man. That's all I gotta say about that. Woo! What in your mouth? <laughs> give me the, give me the cutter so we can cut it. Look at that, see? Never, never did it right. <laughs>
What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a cross member. No, stop looking around. Okay. We're gonna make a cross member from here to here because we're gonna bring the frame rails in to clear the tires, the wheels. So that's what we're gonna do next. Mostly everything in the in the shop that we built on the car, it's literally under 48 inches, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like close to four feet, you know what I'm saying? So I learned that if I want my breaker is not 48 inches, so I'll just break it in two. All right, OB, let's get to the fun, the fun part, OB. Come here, ho. Aquí está el punto de mídele. No more. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Keep your eyes on the road and your hands up on the wheel. The wheel. All right, let's go break the big feet. All right, big pimpy. My butter, dude. My butter. You see that? Ready? Here we go. Fingerless today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one, dude. 